Sinusoidal Syncopated Wrist Roll. That's what we're talking about today. It sounds advanced, and it looks advanced, but the truth of the matter is I love this trick because it's not advanced. It's not about what you can do with this. It's just about how you move your hand. Um, as with any trick, repetition is key. Uh, fine motor skills, muscle memory is what I was going with there. Um, but the more control you have over your prop, the cleaner it's going to look overall. That's with anything. But to learn this is probably going to be simpler than learning 90% of the other tricks because you don't have to have the control with this to learn the trick. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off very basic. I'm just going to stick my hand, palm up, and I'm going to drop these right over my wrist here. I picked the noisiest nunchucks to do this way. Um, but yeah, we're just wrapping the chain of rope around our wrist, and then we're going to take our hand and we're going to turn it in. I'm still up, I'm turning in, and I'm getting the back of my fingers onto this handle, and then turning it through so that the handle is now on the back of my hand and in front of me. And then I'm going to work this around. I'm kind of rolling it off of the back of pinky side of my hand back into my hand. There's that full contact version, but then we can also do an aerial version, which might prove a little easier at first. Maybe it won't, but try both of them because once you get one, you'll be able to get the other one much easier. So same exact motion, except once we get to the back of our hand here, instead of keeping my fingers back like this and rolling it off, I'm actually gonna drop my fingers down a little bit do the same kind of roll, but I'm lifting my hand up to give it a little bit of pop up into an arrow. So there's that. And then there's the full contact. We're wrapping around. Start a little farther off on the side that you're using and work your way to your opposite side. So I'm wrapping my left hand. I want to start off on the left. And as it comes around my hand, I'm gonna actually turn into that way to get it back into my hand, if that makes sense. So start wide and then come in. So you do have a choice to make with this. Once it goes from the back of your hand into your hand, this other handle that's coming around, you can either go underneath your arm or above your arm. As it's coming around, you're either gonna do a figure eight underneath or half figure eight or you're going to go above your arm. So that will make a difference if you're hitting yourself in your arm. That could be one reason. The other reason would be, as it's on the back of your arm, if your hand is too low, this handle only has so far to go before it hits your arm. So try raising your arm up a little bit to get it over. 